Hi everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through a multi-section wing and how to first set it up and then how to adjust the different parameters in the section tab to define the geometry of your wing plan form. So we've got a default wing here and to make this a multi-section wing, we simply click split here under the section tab and it divides our span exactly in half and then sets the tip cord of this first section such that we still have this continuous leading edge and trailing edge so that the original plan form that we had isn't changed. Now when we do that, we have access to come in and change these values independently and start playing with the wing shape. In this case, we're going to go ahead and open an example of a multi-section wing and just look at the right hand side of the semi-span model so we can look at how changing some of these parameters affects our shape. Now notice we're here on section one, highlighted in green. Clicking these buttons takes us between our different sections. This double arrow jumps ahead 10 sections in the wing, but in most cases it'll just take you to the end if you have less than 10 sections. Going back to section one, you'll notice that we now have independent control of our root cord, our span, and our tip cord. And you may have noticed that only the tip cord is really having any effect on this outboard section, and that's because that's the only feature of this first section that's common between these two. So by adjusting the span, the outboard section doesn't care. It's not dependent on that value. The only one that carries between these two is tip cord. If we go to section two and adjust the root cord, again here, back to three, you see that the tip cord of section one is updated. So VSP is tracking when you set things and making sure that the linked parameters between different sections are equal so that you have a continuous shape. Now, if you want to, you can choose different independent variables between sections. So I can choose area and aspect ratio and tip cord, because remember, this is a common feature between these two, and then leave span and root cord active for the outboard section. And I can set this to whatever I want. Let's say 0.6 and an area of 5. Why not? Because tip cord is still one of my independent variables, it's not changing. If I go to section 2, root cord is still 3, tip cord's 1, spans 8. The outboard section doesn't care. But if I come to section 1 and say, rather, I'm going to use taper ratio, and I change the aspect ratio to 0.4, my tip cord changed in section one. And so whether I like it or not, the root cord of the outboard section just changed. So you have to be really deliberate with how you set up the different variables in independent sections and how you control this. But if you just want to set up a simple multi-section wing, leave your span, root cord, tip cord, and you can set these distances the way that makes sense, adjust the shape, and you can define your multi-section wing and set everything up. 